So I literally get requested to do this video like daily. Like I hibernate in my room 24-7. I need it to look nice. I'm so pink. I'm encompassing a fairy princess or something. I'm tomboy fairy princess is the look I go for personally. <laughs> a Jigglypuff shirt. So I'm going to be showing a DIY room decor mostly, but I also wanted to incorporate some life hacks. I'm a very experienced fan and I just have a lot to show you. So let's see if we can get this to 15,000 likes if you guys want to see a room tour because my old one is a mess I will admit it my room's a mess just like my life and my Instagram theme Comment what you're a fan of these were ideas that could work with Basically like any fandom or even anything if you're not a fan of any thing You have an actual life what <laughs> and if you're not subscribed I'm a monster. <laughs> I will link it right here. I worked super, 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 in case you didn't get the point, another super hard on this video. And I hope you guys enjoy. So I decided to put a spin on the typical Tumblr fairy lights and pictures combination. So in stores currently they have super cheap Christmas trees, so I decided to get a super cheap one. It's more just a light up tree, I'm not even using it as a Christmas tree whatsoever. And for a nice touch I just added some colorful lights too. So on the internet I looked up Tumblr fan photography, people are so talented it makes me feel really bad about myself. <laughs> Besides the point, I printed out the photos and I put them onto the tree just using some star paper clips because they're adorable. <laughs> totally did this as a joke, but I added the golden snitch from Harry Potter at the top of the tree. This does not have to only include Tumblr fan photography, it doesn't even have to include that. I just included a ton of photography that I liked. <laughs> It was super cheap because the light up trees are on sale right now and it looks awesome in any corner of your room. This pillow seriously describes the story of my life. <laughs> so first on a word document I typed this is where I cry when a fictional character dies. To add an extra touch I used the Harry Potter font. You can download tons of free fonts like this all over the internet. So I printed that on iron-on photo transfer paper. I use this all the time. The best part about this is that you can print anything. You could do a movie poster, a favorite quote, etc. So next I'm following the instructions on my photo transfer paper and I'm cutting around the words. I've shown this in tons of videos, but just in case anyone hasn't seen any of my other videos or just needs a new idea for this. And then, super easy, you just put the words right on top of a pillowcase and you iron them on. You could customize this by using different fonts, you could do quotes like I said before. You could even do like funny Tumblr text posts and memes because those always brighten my day. So I made this DIY for my brother because he emotionally invests himself in video games. <laughs> so you can make these pixels with iron-on beads, they have tons of tutorials online, or you can just buy them super cheap online, whatever you prefer. If you're a huge fan of video games, this is the DIY for you. So you can stick any pixels or really any image to your wall just using velcro stickers and talk about this in literally every video. The best part is that you can switch them out with the velcro stickers easily and take them off because you know you gotta catch them all. That was so corny. Please pretend that didn't happen. <laughs> so this is another way to make any DIY hang. So for the DIY, I took some white sheer fabric. And I simply looped it through a ton of old looking keys that I bought online. You could buy them in a large set for a pretty cheap price. So then I looped some clear string through one of the holes of each key. And boom, then you have the flying keys reenacted in your room. It's pretty awesome, trust me. So you can do this DIY even if you're not obsessed with Harry Potter, but if you're not, I, what are you doing? <laughs> for example, you could just do it with the keys. It would still look awesome in my opinion. If any of you guys recognize this instrumental, you are officially awesome. <laughs> so first, a life hack. I use this website called beamages.com to make awesome fan reactions to various articles and YouTube videos and things like that. 
So this is a life hack for fans because you can take fandom articles, fandom Tumblr posts, I've got tons that I can just think of right now, and you can react to them by just clicking the add button. After entering the link, then you can make your own adorable reaction with stickers. I love stickers. And people can say if they agree with your reaction or not. Some of the things that I posted reactions to were things under the geek tab in Pinterest, which is kind of my life, but I think you guys can tell. <laughs> so I printed funny reactions and things from Pinterest. I also thought it'd be super funny to leave a link in the description so that you guys can make a reaction on images to this video and I have a feeling I'm going to be looking through and laughing a lot. <laughs> also an awesome DIY idea, I printed out a ton of my favorite geek DIYs and I put them on a bulletin board. So I've been saying terranium for the past year, but it's actually terrarium, and I just admitted it to the internet, so it's even more embarrassing. <laughs> you can get so creative with these. There are some like $100 ones on Pinterest that are insane. I kept it pretty simple with just some fake plants and glitter and some tiny characters that I got from Etsy. Fun fact, I actually use those tiny characters on my chokers. I attach little links to them. <laughs> This DIY is super quick, but I just had a lot of fun with it, okay? <laughs> so basically, take any candy. I went for gumballs because I like the aesthetic, and I also like that word. I use it way too often. So I put the gumballs into a mason jar, and then, super easy, I just took some lettering, and I made up, like, fun candy names that were inspired by certain fandoms and movies, and you, you feel me. The amount of chokers I have, it's unhealthy, but I hope you guys enjoy the DIY. <laughs> so at Michaels or at eBay or Amazon, they sell these super cute glass vials that are supposed to go on bracelets and necklaces. You could switch this up depending on the fandom, but I'm using salt and simply putting it inside the glass vial that is supernatural themed in case you didn't know. Shame on those who didn't. <laughs> for example, you could do like this dragon for the Hobbit or something. My brother is obsessed. He would love that. <laughs> I love supporting the small sellers, so I go all over Etsy and they actually can make them and customize them on there. It's awesome. In case you were wondering, I got customized Pikachu and Teen Titans cupcakes. Not every day that you hear that. <laughs> So now I'm making an emoji beanie, and it doesn't have to be fandom inspired, but I kind of couldn't resist because I don't have enough fandom stuff, as you can tell. <laughs> that was sarcasm. Super easy, all I did was take a plain beanie and some Velcro stickers and emoji stickers, or you could just print out emojis, but I like the emoji stickers, I think they work the best. I stuck the stickers to one side of the Velcro sticker, and then boom, I made an emoji story. Mine was Once Upon a Time inspired. And the best part about this is that you could easily switch the map. As you guys can see, I also put the flying keys on a necklace, and it looks really cute. I'm obsessed. All over the internet, you can buy these really cute printable masks, and you can have them for a themed party, or you can just keep them in your room 24-7. That's what I do, honestly. Well, I also needed to hide my secret identity, of course. Also, another life hack. So you can use the Velcro stickers to temporarily put anything on your clothing. I put the Pokeball on my overall dress because it looks adorable, okay? Don't judge me. You never know when the Pokeball might come in handy. Of course, I couldn't end this video without a corny joke. I <laughs> hope you guys enjoyed and found some inspiration. So right when I got my hair colored pink, I said that it reminded me of Princess Bubblegum. I found a Princess Bubblegum choker. It kind of reminds me of the Webkinz charms that I used to collect. I still love to act like I'm five, and it feels great to be honest. <laughs> so I know there was a lot in this video, um, I just wanted to make sure that there was something in this video that could work for everyone. Also, sometime around the time I upload this video, I will be uploading my third vlog on my vlog channel. I know I've not been too consistent, but that's because my life mainly consists of very boring things, like staying at home all day. I'm a very introverted person, I do not like to go out like to be alone a lot. <laughs> but that's why books and TV shows are my best friends. <laughs> Three, two, one. What was that? That was really awkward. Okay.